So I decided to apply for an internship because I had been working with animals, cats and dogs and various little domesticated animals and I had never really dealt with wildlife, I would never dealt with birds, I never dealt with raccoons or skunks and I really wanted to grow my knowledge just in general of animals. Um, I like to learn about things that I don't know much about so I started volunteering here. Um, a few months later there was an opportunity for an internship and I quickly jumped on that because it allowed me to be here consistently five days a week or five days a week and that's what I wanted to do. Because I was already a volunteer and a little bit more experienced, I had a little experience here, um, they moved me ahead a little bit quicker and I started off with fledglings. Um, I had never dealt with fledglings before, so the first two weeks I spent about eight hours a day doing rounds of fledglings. The first few days were very overwhelming, but it was very exciting. After a first, the first few days, once I started to get used to the fledglings, it became really good because then you start to know the birds and you come into your shift. Instead of sort of being like, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do with these birds and if you know some of them are sick. And then you start getting very comfortable with it. And so by the second week, I was still doing the fledglings. And I was getting very used to the staff and I was getting used to pretty much everything here so going from one day a week volunteering to five days a week was also a bit of a change. So I'm at about four weeks, five weeks into it. I've, I've moved pretty quickly through things however uh, yesterday I got to handle a raccoon for the first time in my life. I got to handle a skunk a few days ago for the first time in my life. Um, starting a few weeks ago, I started tube feeding some of the birds, and so that's a little bit of a slow process to learn. Now I'm starting to get pretty comfortable with it, so the staff allow me to be able to do the medications, they allow me to do some of the tube feedings, um, obviously with their assistance and their guidance, and they always got the, a close eye on me, but enough that I get my freedom to, to learn on my own, and at the same time to have the support of everybody around here. I've got too many cool moments. There's, when you do the fledgling rounds, you see all these birds that, if you've never dealt with fledglings, this is all new to you. And then when you go on the nestlings with the baby birds, and you've never dealt with baby birds, that is one of the coolest things. I, ne I never believed that I would be able to do nestling rounds. And then when they hand you a raccoon and you scruff it, that is one of the most exciting things. And then when there's a great big blue heron and you get to dupe feed it and you see it be mackerel and you see it improve, that's one of the best things. And then when you go on the releases and you see the geese go off and into the water and they get acclimatized to their surroundings, that's one of the best moments. So I don't really have one best moment, I have pretty much daily. I have at least one or two things that I absolutely love. I send to my mom, I send to pretty much everybody I know because I'm excited about it. Um, and I'm assuming that tomorrow will be the same. I'm assuming that next week will be the same. WRA is a great place to work. One of the big things that sold me on this place is not just the animals, not just the ability to to learn about birds and my own selfish perspective of the things I wanted to, it was the people here. The staff I really like because they have to deal with volunteers all the time. They deal with new volunteers all the time. And that's a great mannerism to learn just in general of how to be able to deal under pressure with these birds, with a ton of volunteers around, everybody going for the same goal, and, and to be able to keep your composure. And, and everybody here seems to do it so well. And that's one of the things that I just love about it. Everybody's open to questions. Nobody's. Nobody worries too much about whether you ask a dumb question, and, and so it's great. When my internship is over, and my mandatory eight weeks is over, that's not going to stop me from continuing this little adventure I've been on. Um, I think one of the biggest things that I've taken with, from this internship is that I want to continue on with wildlife in general. There's so many areas 
that I don't know about yet that I'm just going to keep continuing on. Uh, once your internship is done, you can continue to volunteer here and you can continue to grow yourself. That's, that's what I'm looking forward to.